Okay, so what we've got here is uh, the phone was accidentally locked with one of those FBI spam virus malicious things that says you were looking at pornography and it says you have to pay $500 to unlock your phone and the FBI has been called and it's just one of those typical scams where they try to get you to pay the money and your phone has been locked and it's a scam that's been going on for a long time and this happened to me a long time ago back in the year 2000. This actually isn't my phone um, which is why I'm showing it if it was my phone. I'd be too embarrassed to but I did a little bit of internet researching and haven't had gone through this before. I know it's possible to fix it. And I should have started from the beginning when I started, but I'm still fresh enough in to where I can uh, walk you through the steps. So you want to start the phone. And what I did with that was I held the start button on the side this is a galaxy s8 by the way and on the other side right there uh okay right there that is the bixby button and these are the volume buttons up and down so i held the up button the bixby button and the power button all at the same time you have to hold them all at the same time power bixby and the volume up button at the same time and it will launch you into this sequence where you can choose to do whatever you want to do in a safe mode in the phone's computer system and it'll allow you to clear out the cache or do whatever you want and I actually chose the factory reset situation because I'm just going to wipe it out clear, get rid of any malicious spyware, viruses, everything like that. So I chose the factory reset and now it says on here, um, let's see, let's see if I can get it good enough. Android recovery, do you... All data will be lost. Do you want to continue? I'm going to go down a spot to yes. I will press the power button to select it. And I just selected it. Now we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, up. Oh, let's see what this says. Reboot recovery cause... Wiping data. Reboot. Lacking storage booting. Obviously you can read. Uh, I'm reading out loud to myself. What's that say? Oh, reboot update now. Okay, well, I'll choose that option. Press the power button to select it. All right, it's actually asking me to choose an option which I don't have my glasses on. I actually need reading glasses. It's so bad on my part. Let's see. Reboot to bootloader. And I don't know any of this stuff. So I'm learning and walking through this just as much as everybody else. Let's see. Let's choose something here. 
apply update. Um, I'm going to go to the factory reset. And what does it say? If your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account information, email address, and password associated with this password. Uh, able to use it again. Okay, we'll hit that. This is correct. Yes. Let's just say down here. Wiping data. All right, what do we got here? Reboot, update now. All right, you know what? I'm gonna hit the, I, I had read or not read, but listened to on the internet where the guy said he was um, selecting the cache part where he was wiping the cache. So I'm going to clean the cache. I know it's kind of hard to read. So now I just selected cleaning the cache. Now what's it asking me to do? Wiping cache. Okay. And what else do we got here? Android recovery. Um, let's see. Wipe data reset. Wipe cache. Now system view recovery logs. Run graphics test. Run local test. Power off. Alright, what do I want to do here? I guess we'll try the... Run the reset again. I don't know what to apply the update from the ADB is. Try to reset again. And what does that say? If your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account information, email address, and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. Okay. All right, with that, hit OK. Wipe all user data. This cannot be undone. Yes. On here, wiping data. See what this says. Alright. Uh, wipe complete. Formatting cache. Wiping cache. Reboot recovery cause is support single. Let's see what this says. Reboot system. Okay, so I've wiped the daddy, uh, daddy, bleh, sorry. I've wiped the data. I've done the factory reset. I've wiped the cache. Um, I guess the only thing for me to do at this point is to reboot the system and see if what I've done worked.
to see if we've gotten rid of the malicious virus that has had my friend's phone locked. I don't want to say whose it is, but uh, I do want to see if this has worked. So let's try this. Reboot system now. And with a little bit of luck, this will be reset to like new factory settings as if the phone was just purchased brand new. Hopefully it'll show up T-Mobile and not FBI warning. Because previously it was popping up FBI warning. The phone was locked. It was not able to be used whatsoever. Come on, baby. You can work. You can work. Using my mental mind power. This is my dog, Bella. Good morning, Bella. Good morning, pumpkin. Use the power. Use the power. Okay, phone. Time to reset, restart. I hope I didn't mess it up even worse than it was. This is taking an awful long time to restart. I hope in resetting it and restarting it and wiping it all factory clean that... I didn't wipe out its ability to reset and wipe out the logs that it needs to reboot itself. What's going on here? This should have definitely restarted by now. I don't know if I'm going to have to have... Nope, here we go. Starting Android. That's positive. Oh, this is all very positive, positive vibes going on here. Let's go, English. Let's look at the terms and conditions. Once you read and agree to these, we can really get going. This all looks good. <laughs> wonder what the diagnostic data is. I don't know. I guess you got to click them anyway. You can Bring your old data quicker for setup. Um, how do you want to connect? Wireless? Nah, I don't want the old data because that'll fuck me up. Excuse my language. Skip for now. Wi-Fi would be quite handy here. Choose a network. I have to take the phone away to enter my secure code. Not that it really matters. You know, I'm going to have to do some internet research and see exactly why people have protected passwords for their internet like what can you actually connect to and do like aside from connect to the network what, what can you do I've never looked into it maybe y'all can send me some ideas Ooh, 
I do not know what the Google sign-in is. Shit. Well, I'm going to have to skip this one. Here the pool. I'm gonna have to pause this and go put some water in the pool. Okay, folks. So that is my hard factory reset. Going through those steps has, at first glance, erased and deleted the virus and given the access back to the phone so now I can hand the phone back over and if you go through those steps you'll get your access back to your phone if you have any questions you can just message me and I will be more than happy to walk you back through it thank you have a great morning